Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be working with Senyova Hair. They are a company that sells raw bundles and frontals and closures. So I'm super excited for this video because this took me back to a few years ago when I first got into wigs, like first started wearing wigs. In this video, I'm going to be making a wig. Now, I'm not showing y'all step by step how to make a wig because yeah i'm rusty but i'm just showing y'all how i made this wig so this is the closure i received it's a five by five hd lace closure and they sent me three bundles to go along with it in 18 20 and 22 inches these are their senyo wave bundles so i will just say that when i was first looking at these bundles i was like mm, those are kind of thin i don't know but in the end i was like okay I should have just waited so let's talk about me making this wig so first things first I already messed up I forgot to take the little wig cap off of my dome head so I kind of sewed it to the inside of my wig but it's okay you can't see it and also I did not bring my closure forward enough I believe when I used to make my wigs I would bring it like two inches in front of the cap if I'm not mistaken but this time I did one and a half, I think. But I definitely should have did two inches, I believe. So after that, we're going to start, well, I just started um, pinning down the closure so that I could sew it down. Um, I didn't watch a video to like refresh my memory. I was literally just like, let's just see if I still got it. Because I used to make all of my wigs when I first started making wigs. My first wig was a wig I made. So... I was like let's just see if I still got it I still got it but I was rusty okay so I just went around and pinned it down with my t-pins and then sewed it down I don't know how to explain the sewing method I use I don't know um I need to go back and like find the videos that I learned from so I can like remember like the terminology that was used because I kind of do want to make a video of me making a wig like a detailed video because I don't think I've ever done that so that would be really interesting but yeah so i'm just letting y'all really just see me make the wig with this hair okay so after that i started um sewing down the bundles i believe i should have spaced them out way more or better than i did because i was kind of like underestimating myself and then when I got towards the top, I was like, oh, yeah, I definitely should have been spacing these out because I kind of had a lot of space left. And when you get to the top, um, it worked out because I used, like, the single weft. I didn't double weft it. I did single weft so it would lay flat. So that helped me out. But, yeah, I definitely forgot about the spacing. So, yeah. Also, I wanted to say I did get the wrong cap as well. I should have gotten a mesh spandex cap instead of the dome um, spandex like this one I used to use mesh it's more breathable but since I didn't really plan on wearing this wig too often I was like okay this will work it's fine but when you are sewing it like around the band of the dome cap make sure you're not going through the elastic band because you will lose the stretch of your elastic band if you sew through that band so make sure it's going just through the fabric like how I'm at the bottom you want to make sure you're going just through that little tiny thin fabric and not the whole elastic band so that your wig will actually fit to your head so i'm just gonna let you guys watch me sew this down i didn't get much um content of me sewing it down because my camera did die but yeah i'm gonna come back once the wig is done all my people been here i see all of my friends yeah she don't have the time you can't get me more Lights in the mall. What you doing that's so important? I've been drinking so much. And I'ma call you anyway. You say you want that nigga that you love so bad. I know you still think about the times we had. I say fuck that nigga that you think you found. And since you picked up, I know. Oh, oh, oh. 
So this is the natural texture of the hair and I think it's just so beautiful, especially if you were like to put some mousse in it and like really define it and then wear it like this. I think this just looks so good and this is like the lace up close. So I decided that I'm just going to go ahead and curl this just to see how it looked curl and I'm so glad I did because it turned out beautiful and let me just say how I was like second guessing those bundles thinking they were going to be thin no this hair was so 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 full y'all y'all will see once i'm done curling it so i'm gonna let you guys watch me curl it and then i'm gonna come back
all right y'all so just look at the shine on this hair like i'm so happy with how this wig turned out like i might have messed up in the beginning but in the end it turned out so beautiful i love how full the hair is how shiny it is how silky it was i didn't have any shedding i just honestly loved this wig so 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 much like look at how full this hair was i definitely like underestimated this hair in the beginning i i i'm sorry like this hair is so nice so i'm gonna have everything linked down below in the description box for you guys if you want to check out senora's hair definitely definitely do you know the girls are getting back into like sew-ins and things so this hair would definitely be perfect for a sew-in i'm not really a sew-in girly and i don't have time to get one especially now so i was like let me just make a wig and i'm so glad i did because this turned out so 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 beautiful so like i said everything will be in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching look at how cute look at how cute but i will talk to you guys next time bye guys